Ki ora koutou, nā mai haere mai ki tēnei hui e ngā wahine mā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnei te mihi ki a koutou katoa e ngā iwi katoa, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, ki ora koutou katoa. the first country in the world to grant women um, suffrage uh, for parliamentary elections and all women who were on the same terms as men, I mean I think that is probably the most significant thing about it um, and it was so early, 1893, I mean it was pretty incredible really. In 1993 the women's suffrage memorial tiles were put there to recognise the work that people did to gain women the vote. The arts and literary world has been responsible in both 2006 and in 2010 trying to get rid of these tiles. It structurally is the problem and for, unfortunately if it had been cited in a way that it could have been more easily removed in the first place we wouldn't be in this situation but I do believe they have done research on being no, no, able to recite it, which would be fantastic to a slightly more that, sensitive um, space. We've had experts well. from Sydney come in, they can move it, it's not a problem. They say they want to move them somewhere and I say they would not dare to suggest that if it was a soldier's memorial. These women had to fight for the vote. They were our women soldiers. So that's Amy Daldy, who was very significant in the suffrage campaign, and she was uh, a member of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, and she was also the chairwoman of the um, Women's Franchise League here in Auckland. So she chaired a lot of big public meetings, and um, and was able to, you know, <laughs> control people who were opposed to women getting the vote, as well as. Um, as supporting them. So, I mean, the people that do live here and work here and function here all the time, um, you know, we're the ones that are actually um, involved here and we're the ones that know this space. I've been here ten and a half years and all I've seen is tourists take photos against it. It's an iconic part of Auckland that tourists, if you were to take go through all the photos that have been taken around the world from this point of view, there'd be a lot of them. This woman here is uh, Lizzie Rattray, who was a journalist and uh, worked for a sort of a woman's magazine in the 1890s and she did social pages and things like that but she also was able to uh, publicise women's issues so she, she was um, involved in uh, getting things into print about women's suffrage and, and things like that. It doesn't work to get people up and down. I mean I go up and down at 10 times a day and even with the Asian students coming down I can barely get up. It is part of the point where tourists do come and think oh this is that you know they do it's take like photos of it. Yeah. I mean what are you going to take photos of stairs? Elizabeth Yates. She is the person that was uh, the, the first woman mayor in the, in the empire. So Why maybe... destroy something that's that to put a stairwell in so the art gallery can be seen? The place is a sea of coffee cups. The homeless people, the chap who uses the fountain as a bathing pool, bottle caps, cigarette butts and at night it also uh, spit. It's never going to end. The, the city is a different place after five o'clock at night. It becomes an area for those people who are misfortune for somebody to go. I've seen some of the designs that they were looking at, they are going to create corners. You have a corner in the city, dark in the area, it's, it's not news. a good thing. Yeah, it no, is. No. They become toilets because there's not enough toilets in the city. So if they don't maintain it or look after it like they're not doing now, so it's what's the point? People know where the art gallery is. It's it not going to entice any more people who walk along and think, oh my god, there's an art gallery. <laughs> citizens gather here this evening as guardians of this memorial. They made New Zealand a more equal and more liberated society. This is our memorial. This is a memorial to women. It redresses the balance. It's typical of women's art. It's collaborative. It was funded by women. It's here in this book. This is a compilation of all the permanent public memorials to the suffragists in New Zealand. It doesn't surprise me, um, given the attitudes we have seen in contemporary local government, that a memorial to democracy in its fullest sense should come under 
attack today. We have a few short months to get as many signatures as Kate Shepherd gave to Parliament and dump them on the table in front of the Art, Culture and Recreation Committee and say, we want a permanent memorial in Khartoum Place. That's what in perpetuity means. And I'm sorry that you have to do that, but that's the way it is. Thank you so much. Kia ora koutou. Kia kaha. Kia mana wanui.